Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Today, oh, can you hear that? that? That's part of this project. Today is inspired by that, <laughs> teacups, and a trip to the craft store. to another tutorial today we're we're going to continue the theme of playing and um, being inspired by other things that you see out and about now I have to be honest at this particular piece of inspiration um, I saw months ago I, I don't go out anywhere <laughs> hardly ever still and um, I did go up to the the craft store one day in a hunt for something in particular that I couldn't order online and I saw something and I'll share it in a minute and it got me inspired and that's all I'm gonna say that's all I'm gonna say this is a really weird vague intro does it have you intrigued hopefully all right let's jump into the the materials for said uh, mystery craft we're gonna we're gonna create a piece of wood this one in particular has these holes in it to hang but you don't you don't need that if you don't want a cut in half teacup don't worry I'm gonna show you the process of how I did that some painters tape solo wood flowers I probably actually won't even use these but I don't know which flowers I'm gonna use yet so just to give you an idea grab some flowers paint of your choice. I'm actually probably only going to use one paint, but it looked weird just holding one bottle in my hand. Do you, do you see what, what might happen here? Okay. So while I'm working on this, I want to, we'll pop up on the screen, the inspiration picture of kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I don't know that obviously we're not going to use the a uh, little cone holder that's there. We're probably not gonna write any words on it, but I liked the look of the um, kind of off-centered color blocking that was happening. So right now what I'm doing is taping off my wood of where I want that color blocking to be. I'm gonna paint this side pink, and I think we're gonna leave this raw. Also, if you are using something that has like keyholes, be mindful of what's gonna to be top and bottom so that you paint the, the part that you want painted. So I'm just gonna get my paint laid on. We'll see if this is uh, dark enough of a color. The color I'm using right now is Rust-Oleum's Anita's <laughs> Princess pink. Of course it is. As I'm painting this, let's chat about how to cut the teacups in half. Now, I'll share a video of my husband doing it because let's just be honest. I love power tools. I do. I might not look like somebody who loves power tools. I love power tools. I usually have no fear when it comes to power tools. I had a little fear with cutting these teacups. So my husband helped me out. We used a Dremel to cut them in half couple tips that I have. Uh, he liked to have it as a stationary base while he was cutting and cutting around it. Um, I've seen some people just hold on to their Dremel and the cup as they are um, painting. Also have a little bit of water on hand. You will find different cups. Um, some that are like fine china, I want to say, are harder to cut through than something like porcelain. And I might be wrong. I might have them backwards. And some people might come at me for this, but the Fiesta Ware are clay cups. Those cut like a butter. So if you want something easy and cute to cut, uh, the Fiesta Ware cups um, are great. But I know that a lot of people find those to be collectors, collector pieces. So um, don't come at me in the comments for that. 
To each their own, people. To each their own. And oh my gosh, we're already we're already done with that. And I think we're only going to do one coat. But let's let this dry, and then we'll see if we need to do a second coat. Okay, so I only painted one coat and I'm happy with it. And this, this right here is the most satisfying thing ever. <sighs> da -da -da. All right, so this is done. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to glue our cup with a little bit of hot glue. Vikram's still warming up. Hurry up, dude. Hurry up. So while I wait for him to fully warm up, I'm kind of figure out where I want to play this place play this place this you could also glue this down with e6000 I just use hot glue for everything you could also put a little bit of e6000 on first and then the hot glue and that'll help so the hot glue will hold it together while the e6000 fully cures if that makes sense so if you want to have a double 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 the coverage double the stickiness <laughs> But double the fun. No, isn't that a gum commercial? Anyway, you can do that as well. We're just gonna use just good old hot glue. Once, once, once I stop talking and it actually warms up. Oh, yeah, nope. It's not budging after that. I'm a little, I wish I would've went a little lower. Oh well, oh well, we'll make it work. So now, We've got a ton of different little bits and bobs, you know me, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs of greenery. We're gonna put the greenery in first, I think, and then we'll add in the flowers at the end. But I'm just gonna start adding greenery. We're also gonna play with some of the um, solar branches again too. So this one I'm gonna cut into multiple pieces. I think I might keep this one the height it is. We'll see. I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. This one's definitely getting cut though and I'm gonna cut it right there. We're gonna be brave and we're gonna just start gluing without placing everything first. This could be a mistake. But we're gonna do it anyway.
so fun in the middle of uh, filming this, my memory card got full. Uh-huh, so um, I'm not sure where we stopped, but that's where we're at. I've glued everything in place. There was a lot of moving around. I also had decided in the middle that it made more sense to wire up the flowers instead of just gluing them into place. It kind of brings everything out. My cup overfloweth. I took a couple flowers out because it was becoming like super, super full. Um, <laughs> shocker. I know, but we're not done. No, no, we're not done. So we're gonna add in just a couple more pieces of filler. I've got this lovely blue astilbe, uh, a faux one, and then on the floor, because it fell, I have um, sesame bloom in like a light blue. Because what we're doing is, do you see on that cup right there? That pretty little flower detail is where I'm pulling my color story from. So we've got pinks, blues, and glue, and green. So let's see if we can get it to focus on there. There you go. So that's where we're pulling our colors from. All right, we're almost done, I promise. So let, let's, let's finish this up. Dun, 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 dun. I can't not put five bajillion of anything in anything. My cup runneth over. That is a serious teacup full of flowers. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see the teacup anymore. Once again, I probably should have put the teacup down just a little bit lower, just, just a little bit. But it was a one shot chance and what I should have done and what I would suggest is once you know where you want to place it, like put a little line, like just a little a little level line, so you know, okay, put the bottom right up there, and then you'll be good to go. Did I do that? No. Hindsight, 2020. All right, so there you go. Oh, I'm really loving this though. I like that I left it natural up at the top. I do have now a little bit of, maybe I'll write a cute little curly, my cup runneth over, or something, I don't know. We'll do something. It's super really pretty though. Um, I'm sure you're gonna see within the, uh, after the edits of this video, <sighs> I struggled. I struggled with these two flowers in particular, the hot pink Sophia and the Mona Lisa turned anemone. I really would love to put that in there, but I feel like it was just too, it popped out way too much compared to, like everything else flows really, really well. And without having a couple anemones throughout this piece, it just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. Same with the hot pink, as much as I love a good hot pink pop, there's no hot pink within like, oh, oh wait, I, I, I stand corrected. There is a very, very tiny little bit of hot pink. So maybe I could have, maybe I could have. But again, I think it would, it just pulls away from everything else of the very uh, soft loveliness that is this piece. This is a fun one. It was a crank the music and just play kind of one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe to this channel, give the video a like, thumbs up, all that stuff. Oh, and if you do subscribe, make sure to ring that bell so that you are notified every time a new video goes up, which is just about every week. Oh, uh, let's see, what else? Hmm. Well, if you're new around here and want to try out the solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com and we have a code just for you. Use the code YouTube. Nobody does this. Why did I do this? YouTube 30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, guys. 
Let me know in the comments. Would you have popped the anemone in there or the hot pink? Did I make a mistake? I don't know. I don't think so. I gotta work on minimalizing some of this. It's always just extra, extra, extra. Maybe that's the goal for 2022 because it's not gonna happen this year. <laughs> See you later for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.